Hello everyone, I've got some exciting news for all the animators out there because the most comprehensive animation course ever made for Blender has just been released. It's made by Pierrick, who I have recommended on this channel before, and it's called Alive. It's just been released today, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out, and in this video we're going to go through a breakdown of all the stuff that's included. Now just for a bit of background, Pierrick has a lot of experience with rigging and animation for the game industry, and I have recommended some of their other courses on this channel before, especially the art of effective rigging, which is all about how to rig things properly in Blender. But this new course, Alive, will teach you absolutely everything you need to know about animating things in Blender. One of the things that Pierrick did with this new course that I really appreciate, because if you've been watching this channel for a while you know that I have a very visual teaching style, is that every time he teaches you a new technique he shows you how to apply it with very visual demonstrations. So at the beginning of this course he'll be showing you how to build this bouncing ball animation with armatures, just showing you the basics of animation. And then by the end of the course you'll be able to build this fantastic character combo fighting animation which is super high quality and looks like it will just fit straight into a AAA game cinematic. Now everything in this course is done with Blender, but of course the techniques learnt in this can be transferred to other softwares as well. And there should be enough in it for people of all skill levels to learn something new. There's about 28 hours of video content, which is crazy, and that's divided into 8 chapters with 150 free edited videos. All of the videos have English subtitles as well. Pierrick has quite a strong accent, so that should help anyone that has trouble understanding spoken English. And of course to help you with building the demonstrations, the course comes with exclusive rig models and characters. So if learning how to do animation sounds like something you might be interested in, then I'm going to give you a chapter breakdown now. If animation is not something you're interested in, then that's fine, you can leave the video now and I might have something more interesting for you soon. But for now, let's get on with the breakdown. So in the first chapter, Pierrick's going to give you a rundown of the documentation and how the files are laid out for the course, so it's just a bit of a basic introduction. But in chapter 2, that's when the learning begins, because that will go over the basics of the animation toolkit in Blender, so if you've never ever ever touched animation in Blender before, then this is exactly where you need to start. So that means how to properly use the timeline, keyframes, how things are transformed in 3D space, and all the tools that are used to manipulate animations. And that does include things like the dope sheet and curve modifiers. Chapter 3 is where you'll learn how to animate the bouncing ball using an armature, which is broken down into simple step-by-step -step videos. Following on from this, we'll give you a demonstration of the squirrel animation, so how to make the jumping, climbing and idle loop animations. He'll even go into the process of making shorts from pre-production and planning to actually combining animation sequences in the NLA editor, and there is an environment provided with the course that you can use for this demonstration. Chapter 4 will teach you about new animation workflows while using a mech walk animation as a demo. A couple of these techniques that he teaches you about are layered animations and space switching. These will allow you to build up more complex animations in a short amount of time. He will also then introduce you to constraints and even show you how to animate a rocket firing to help complete the demo of this action sequence. So he really is just trying to provide you with a wide variety of use cases so the information you learn in this can be applied to a wide range of projects. Chapter 5, which I think is going to be one of the most popular chapters, is about making the human run cycle. So that involves looking at references, blocking out the basic animation forms, final polish, and it will also talk about the importance of different rotational modes and when they're appropriate for use. So when you get that exciting chapter out of the way, chapter 6 is going to make things a bit more subtle. So he's going to show you how to make the walk cycle for the human. Chapter 7 is about creating convincing poses and how to exaggerate them to make them more visually appealing. And he'll also show you a workflow for how to pose a character quickly. And then in chapter 8, you use everything you've learned to create a full-on combo animation. So this is the one that puts everything together with the human character into a bit of a fire sequence and the end result looks amazing. This will also involve editing references, analyzing them, creating strong poses, and then animating and polishing. So if this does sound like something that you might find entertaining or fun to follow along with, then please check out the course. pyrrhic has been working on it for I think maybe nearly two years now. In fact, I think he said somewhere that it's taking him nearly 24 months to prepare, with over eight months worth of recording and editing. So he really did just want to make the most comprehensive animation course for Blender that's ever been made, and I think the results will speak for themselves. Now that's not the end of it because more content will be added to the course over time, and it will be added freely for anyone that's already purchased it. But also keep in mind that the price will also increase over time as more content is added. Now Pierrick is running a 25% off early bird sale until the 19th of August. So if you're watching this before then, then you can get 25% off. Just make sure you use the code early bird, and you're perfectly free to use the affiliate link in the description as well if you want to help support my channel. Now usually when I do videos like this, I like to try and 
offer in some free alternatives as well, because I know not everyone has money to spend. In this case, I've been waiting for this course for a little while. I know pierre has been working on it for such a long time, and I really just wanted to show it off because I feel like this one's going to have a really good sense of value. It's also worth mentioning that he has a wide range of other content as well, even on his YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more about rigging and animation and the character creation pipeline for video games especially, then feel free to check out his other work. So thanks for watching everyone. If there are any aspiring animators out there, then feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd also like to say thank you to everyone that's been joining the Discord server and supporting on Patreon and following on social media. I've just come back from a week away, it's my one week off, so expect content to pick up again soon. So thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and I will see you next time.